Good morning and happy Monday. I'm going to do my Monday check-in actually on Monday this week because last week I did a Monday, I titled it Monday check-in and I, for some reason while I was doing it I actually thought that it was Monday and it was Tuesday. Anyway, it is Monday and I'm just going to do my, my little quick check-in that I seem to be doing these days. Um, so the weekend was pretty good. I, I got a lot of uh, yard work done, um, mowed my front lawn, and uh, just basically uh, checked in on stuff out there. <laughs> but yesterday, that was Saturday, yes, no, that was yesterday morning too. Yesterday afternoon, I asked a neighbor if she wanted to go with me out to Forest Green Farm, which is in Louisa, which is to, out towards Charlottesville. It's about an hour from here. And it's a, a pretty good sized herb farm. Uh, they also, they, they grow a lot of plants for sale, although in the wintertime they have a CSA with the greens that they grow in their greenhouse. They have like five greenhouses. Um, but I was going for some medicinal plants. I needed to replant some St. John's wort. And um, I wanted some more ashitaba, but it wasn't ready yet. Um, and even the St. John's wort, she told me to let it grow in the pots a little bit. So I got um, three plants of St. John's wort. I got a couple of corn flowers. I got a couple of different, uh, different kinds of flowers that I'm not familiar with. Um, what else did I get? I got... A number of different little things. I might do another video later on um, of what I got and where I planted it, the ones that I do plant because um, the gardens, because it's a nice day and the garden's looking pretty good. Um, and didn't really, well I, I did do some artwork. Um, my fabric piece that I've been working on is is getting close to being completed so I should have that finished up well, if I focused on it, I could finish it up today, but there's a number of things I want to work on. I have my printer all set up and ready to go, so I have to work on a couple of um, files to get them ready to print, and then I'll be making some more of my larger um, photo encaustics. Uh, I am getting some ideas for different cyanotypes again. It's, it's kind of weird because I have all these different um, series, I guess you could call them, that I'm working on. And it's like, oh, what do I work on first? And how much do I focus on it? And all of that. And um, I am making the effort to approach everything I do as a job because at some point it would be really good to find a way to use those skills towards making money. I did sell a print um, of one of my images to uh, uh, old fr Flickr friend. She, she had posted something about it quite a long time ago and I just didn't get around to it until now to get it printed and get it off to her. So that was, that was good. Made a little money there. Um, and Saturday I met up with a, a Flickr friend as well. He and his wife live um, on the eastern shore, so across the, the Chesapeake, and they were in town because she was going to some sort of racial justice um, conference, and he was just kind of hanging out uh, waiting for her, and he said, hey, do you want to meet up? So I finally, I've known him for a few years uh, via Flickr. We really hadn't corresponded much or anything like that, but just just a little bit via Flickr. So we walked around uh, where we met up in Churchill and then um, we went over to Maymont Park and spent about I don't know, an hour or so walking around there and then I took him to one of the galleries um, that um, was started by somebody from Flickr as well um, on Broad Street and we saw that. But it was very interesting because he's a, he's a Buddhist um, I mean, I don't know what flavor of Buddhism, but but he sits, he practices. Um, I guess he's fairly recently become vegetarian. He said he used to be a hunter and, you know, did the whole nine yards. And uh, But now he's, uh, I guess he feels more comfortable being vegetarian. 
Um, he's about a year older than me. But it was interesting because his background is very similar to mine, a, a Catholic background with five kids in the family. So that was, that was kind of fun to hear. Um, but we just, we talked a lot about, and it was very interesting. And, and I don't know whether it was the fact that, that of his, you know, Buddhist practice or what, there was a, a kind of a, a resonance without like attachment. It's, it was like, it was very, very pleasant to walk around and talk to this person. And we were talking about things that were meaningful to me. We were talking about photography and a little bit about art. And we were talking quite a lot about Buddhism and, and life and, and death and uh, a little bit about reincarnation. And uh, it was, it was interestingly comfortable and relaxed and pleasant and resonant, but at the same time, you know, I don't, I don't have, you know, a burning desire of, oh, when, you know, maybe I should drive over to the Eastern shore to visit these people. It was, it's kind of, you know, I, I haven't really experienced that before, you know, being with somebody and having it be resonant and comfortable and familiar and um, uh, satisfying on, on some internal level. But yet there is a, this kind of, um, non-attachment about it which and, and I, like i say maybe it was because of his you know he his vibe was you know the a buddhist vibe i i don't know but we it was also interesting because we were we had been walking around for like 45 minutes or something like that and um at one point we were talking about Thich Nhat han and it was after we were talking about reincarnation Thich Nhat han came up and he said and he made this comment where he was saying well i'm i'm uh, we were talking about him having a stroke and not being well yet. And he said, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I, I have some questions about his care after his stroke. And he said, and he said something about as a physician, my viewpoint, blah, blah, blah. And I said, <laughs> I was like shocked. I said, you're a physician? He said, oh yeah, but we'll get back to that. So again, it was, you know, a lot of times if you meet somebody that is a certain profession, you hear about that right away. You know, because that's that's a big deal to, you know, go through the training and have that experience for, I'm guessing, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 years, you know, he's been practicing. Um, and, and now he does like elder care and hospice work. And so that that also tied into the to talking about death and attitudes towards death and attitudes towards um medicine and keeping people alive at all costs, regardless of, of quality of life frequently, um, and the choices that people make. You know, it wasn't a, a judgment on the choices, but just sort of observing the choices that that um, that people make in that regard. So it was so it was quite nice. So that's that's how I spent a, a bit of my um, uh, Saturday and uh, got my bread from Subarosa Bakery because that's where we made up met up. And yeah, and yesterday it was the, you know, the garden trip and out in the garden. So today I hope I'm, I might, you know, I got to decide when I want to go out and plant because I want to do some artwork work and I want to work in the garden. So I'll probably do the work work first, and let it warm up a little bit out there. It's going to be like the upper 60s today, I guess. Tomorrow, like near 80. Um, so anyway, so that's the Monday check-in. Um, oh yeah, I talked to my sister and our niece, and we're actually doing a road trip to Philadelphia, <laughs> like in a week and a half. My sister's going to be here for a few days, and then we'll um, and then we'll drive up to Philly and meet up with our niece, and then I'll drop my sister back off in Maryland and come back home. So that will be interesting. <laughs> So, okay, so that's it. That's the check-in for now. Maybe there'll be a little bit of a garden video um, later today. All right, take it easy. Bye.